Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Oh, lovely. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Uh... Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of okay, course, Professor. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Sure. I guess there was I was supposed to see my outfit get changed. to meet the headmaster hello sir fig nice of you to join us the sorting ceremony is over there were complications complications it seems the goblin Enough. problem has goblins i've no time for rumors fig and i'm rapidly losing whatever patience i had left if you're lucky we might still be able to get you sorted this evening yeah, I, I mean, what, what if I could be a neutral I'll student? In touch. I don't necessarily need to be put inside of like a house or a club or anything. Hey, Professor Weasley, <laughs> we've one more to be sorted. I see you, Slytherin fucks, looking at me. I know I have green hair, but that doesn't mean anything. Just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? A little bit, I guess. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... Expectations. Yes. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Well. Yeah. I, I, I wanna, well. I want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. I suppose. Mm. I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? <laughs> I, <laughs> you can just choose for it. Like, well, I've got a, I'm daring. I've got a curious personality. I'm incredibly loyal. I've got ambition. Well, listen, I do have a lot of curiosity, um, but we're going to say ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Do I get a choice there? Oh, <laughs> the sorting hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Slytherin, a Slytherin house known for cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. Yeah, I was trying to get into Slytherin anyways. Set me up! <laughs> you belong in Slytherin! All right, we got a little bit of green on my robes. I'm down for it. Oh, and one more thing. 
Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. No. Oh well. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. <laughs> you are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Are we going... <laughs> Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. I guess as you're I Professor saying, Weasley. I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. It's a wall. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. No. Oh. Very well. Aspiration. Uh. <laughs> right, we're snake themed. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Ooh. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I guess as long as I'm not getting attacked by statues while I'm trying to sleep. Oh, wow, we're really just going to the next day. I thought that'd be a, you know, first night, good time to like, talk with the other students, but no, we're just fucking heading to sleep. Uh, we're gonna do that in the morning. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, can I get the apple? And the answer is yes. I don't know if it does anything for you as a player. I imagine it will heal you. All right, I probably shouldn't sneak around everyone's stuff. But I imagine everyone in the Slytherin house would respect my ambition for running everywhere I can. What? Ooh. All right. <laughs> hey, if I'm allowed to do it, I'm running around and grabbing all their items. Clearly, if they didn't want someone to take it, they would have cast a locking spell on the box and it wouldn't just open up to any random person. Oh, oh. I wanted to like zoom in on this. Wait, hold on. Is there a photo mode? Maybe, maybe eventually. Uh, we don't need motion blur. Mm. You know, motion blur can make things feel a little bit cinematic. Which is all fine and dandy, but it does two things that that uh, annoy me. One, <laughs> I like to get thumbnails as, from screenshots of the games. And sometimes when there's motion blur, that's way more difficult. They'll be like, oh, that's a cool looking shot. And it's just like, shit's just super blurred out. It doesn't matter, super hardcore, because obviously, as y'all, you know, the thumbnails are super tiny. But it bothers me. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And then, second, while it looks cinematic, sometimes it can be a little bit overkill. Although I didn't really super notice it here. Greetings, everyone. I suppose some introductions are in order. 
I am just the new student. Imagine starting a new school this late. A little room, everyone. Let them through. <laughs> At least some of them are respectful. Already knew that. Greetings. Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was... exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Ah, uh, well, what were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I figure. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Yeah, farewell. <laughs> I like how we're like, oh, we'll do introductions. And then I'm only speaking directly to like three people. And they're not seeking me out. I'm just walking up to them being like, hi. I don't even give them my name. Oh shit, the paintings. Hi, hello. <laughs> How are y'all doing in there? Keeping watch over us Slytherin kids? Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure there's only a light amount of mischief that will happen. Oh. <laughs> Nuts. Greetings, greetings. I guess these three people are maybe our potential friends. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. Alright, backseat gamer, but you were probably right. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. All right, well, I wish you had been there. What, what, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, like we had it handled. But what do you mean by- Perhaps it? Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. Yeah. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Yeah, that sounds pretty fucking... That sounds pretty nice. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go for a walk. I'm just going to go for a quick 50 mile per hour fly around the school. <laughs> Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? <laughs> Maybe because you're a nerd. <laughs> I'm sorry. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Maybe she should have been a Ravenclaw. What the fuck? Whoa. That's cool. I didn't know we were underwater. Nothing yet. I I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, 
Based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, Ominous? You certainly had a memorable arrival. Wait, 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 wait. As in, like... <laughs> so, obviously, he looks to be, uh... Blind. Isn't Gaunt... Like, another way to say, like, um... Being stared at or something? Hold on, I actually am gonna look this up. Okay, Gaunt... Is a real word, but it doesn't mean what I thought it means. It means excessively thin and angular. Which, I mean, still, being called Ominous Gaunt is fucking... It's a pretty shit name, buddy. I'm so sorry. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt you'll need it. Yeah, I mean, uh... I'll take any help I can get. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you don't particularly care about that. I don't- what- what? What even are we? I'm guessing I guess it doesn't matter. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> hey, at least, you know, it's a nice view. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, I'll say hello whenever I see you. Yeah, Slytherin in here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know. She has a name. She's not just a Slytherin student. <laughs> Damn, I tried to make the water splash in the fountain. It's got to be a little humid in here with all the water running around and like the fact that we're under ground right next to Ugh. Hello? What the Hi. Oh. Lumos. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Stick your hand out at me again. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. What, the, what is that? Owls. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. Oh. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Whoa. Here you are. Super journal? Holy shit. I can't read anything like that, but sure. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Sweet. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Yeah, it seems kind of like I'm cheating, but I mean, yeah, I guess I do have lots of years to make Thank up for. You, professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. 
Wait, hold up. I used to write my parents every day. Now I can't remember the last I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Yeah, and why is that? Is it like Revelio? Do I like just pull it out and the it'll like record will give things you for me? Opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. I'm right behind you, Professor. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Uh, Revelio. Field guide page. Oh, gosh. So it's like lore pages. Whoops. Kelpie statue. This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to the Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Oh, dang. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Okay. <clears throat> field guide challenges are only are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Oh. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Collecting your first guide pages unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. All right. Discover field pages around the world. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Oh. Yeah, so we do actually, yeah, we are going to unlock, like, new glasses and stuff. Good. I'm not that biggest fan of the current glass I have. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Oh, that's going to be rough. I'm very forgetful when it's when it comes to like, oh, collect your rewards. Hey, what are you looking at, buddy? Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open huh. for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Yeah, I mean, as long as I notice them, I suppose. Revelio. Ooh. I didn't say the password. Ugh, aspiration. What's this? Why is it a fire? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flue flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. All right, you discovered a flue flames fast travel point. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flue flames. Ooh, Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house commons room, uh, rooms and the Great Hall. And what's the right side? I'm, <laughs> I'm so interested in seeing the rest of the map as well, but all right, all right. Select the grand staircase to continue. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames are a represent flames you've discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Man, I'm... It's going to take me a while to learn all the places to go around, I suppose. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flames for you. All right. I guess we'll just meet you there. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Oh, but can I walk the whole castle? Is the question. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Ah, yeah, I get it. Whoa. That should be all for now. 
You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. I, yeah, I was wondering about that. We kind of came here with just the wand and the robes on our back. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Yeah, I'm down for that. Depending, I, uh, you know, if butterbeer tastes the same way as I had at Universal's Harry Potter World, sheesh, that was great. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. I like the sound of that. All right. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. All right, I mean, I guess I'll head to class then. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Yeah, I do. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Yay! Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. <laughs> uh, there is, yeah, I'm truthful. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Well, goddamn. I shouldn't say much. I didn't expect exploring to say that much. ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Hi, Professor Fig. Good luck today. Oh. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Yeah, I bet. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Oh. Yes, Professor. Come <laughs> find me oh, in yes, fair enough. after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Do I need money for those supplies? Because I don't know if I have any money. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? <laughs> Look, I hope I didn't say too much. Yeah, I, I just want to say, yeah, there's more to the story, but I don't want to talk about it. That's what I thought like we would go like I there is more to the story like I'm not gonna lie and be like oh no there's nothing nothing wrong happened but fucking the fact that my character was like yeah we explore somewhere hello that wasn't in the option she caught me off guard I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here I will say I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming yes well Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch it was right to keep the details to yourself for now. 
We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Please Unfold do! Unfold it and have a look. Alright. Open... You can track available quests from the map. Open map. Whoa. Alright, this yellow icon represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. I like the sound of unlock new features. And I guess the XP as well. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you'll need to be re the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments, uh, which is like a yellow scroll, or sorry, a white scroll, or as quest rewards. Track request. Uh, with X to continue. Let's see, Defense Against the Dark Arts class and Charms class. <laughs> oh, it tells me how right what we get. Leviosa. Levioso? Accio? Levioso? I'll do that one. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yeah, the fate of the wizarding world may rest upon my shoulders. All right, cash charmed compass. The charmed compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. Well, you're currently not tracking anything. That's a lie. I was tracking the quest here. Okay, now we have like more of the full access. So we have a map of Hogsmeade, the world map, and then Hogwarts. Ooh, ooh, okay, that felt weird to control for a second. Uh, okay, so here we have a massive world around Hogwarts to fly around and explore. My lord, it just kept going. I'm guessing all of these parts that are lighter in shade are out of bounds. But maybe not, considering, like, this is right outside the castle. That feels a little bit too close to just not be able to go to. And then we've got... Uh... Hogsmeade map. I'm guessing this is, like, a whole separate area, so I can't really do much around it. But alright, I guess for now we'll just focus on, on Hogwarts. Um, let me look at the challenges page a little bit more. Because I don't fully understand how these are going to work out. Legendary Glove. Huh. Do I have gloves? Oh. Oh, we get a little scarf. New natural beige scarf. Nah. <laughs> nah. Between quests is a good time to identify new gear, sell access to vendors, and increase your gear capacity by completing Merlin trial challenges. What does that even mean? Perfect vest uniform. Well appointed. So what is that? Oh. Okay, <laughs> that is, that is, like, this part of the outfit. Wait, does that mean I don't have to wear a robe? Oh, wow!
I was just kind of expecting to have, like, to just be stuck with that. <laughs> oh, right, I didn't actually track my thing. Alright, so what does this look like? We, like, send out a flying page. Revelia. What is this? Oh! Often is it two pictures of Angelica or three? What? Who's talking to me? Oh. You was you. Ignatia Wildsmith. And then this painting. Lumos. Woo, be impressed by my ability to pull light out of nowhere. Revelio. Statue of Grigori the Smarmy. This statue, with an ingratiating grin, depicts the medieval wizard Grigori the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing the Gregory's un unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Oh. That's... That's interesting. <laughs> what is this? Uh, that doesn't seem like a good result. What does this even mean? 21, 17? Should I be worried about that? I should move on. Revelio. Uh, oh! Wait! There we go. Oh, dang. Raining on my first day. It's alright, I guess we're staying inside, it doesn't matter. Greetings, my fellow students. I feel like when it's raining, we should probably pull up our hoods and not be rained on further, but okay. Revenia. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Catagon, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Or, I mean, I didn't know that rumor at all. On level two, I've become more powerful. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, especially when we're just going around schools. I wish I could have fast traveled. Whoa. Fast traveled around. Peavesy has a brand new game. Just beware the open flame. Whoa, what the fuck's happened to this guy? You all right, buddy? Who are you? There's a lot going on here. What that awful puff girl said in 1421. What lovely stone. Oh, that's class, that is. <laughs> uh. Look at me. Oh, yeah, here. Painting of Ilias. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard Rasidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. Huh. Oh. Is that the Dementor behind him? He's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> it's not a mouse, huh? Right, I guess we'll stop killing all of y'all. Damn. 